Spoils shared at Sophia Gardens. Records tumbled at Sophia Gardens. Kieran Carlson and Chris Cook sharing a new Glamorgan record stand of 307 for the fifth wicket to set up a final day charge. Northamptonshire were unfortunate. A bowler light after Bird got injured in the warm up, and they'll now look to bat the day out. The hosts declared overnight and didn't have to wait long for a wicket. Vasconcelos out second ball of the day to the departing Michael Nisa. There was another for Nisa, the Aussie dealing with both openers. Emilio Gay caught behind for 19, the door ajar for Glamorgan. Keogh and Thurston chipped away at the target and started to close that opportunity, the score up to 50 and the target below 200. They'd go no further, Thurston caught behind, a third for Nisa. It was up to Zaib and Keo to recover, and they did so, the score knocking on three figures before the break. But Zaib would fall on the stroke of lunch, a little slow to set off, and Labashain made no mistake with the throw. Keo and Gouldstone were unmoved though, the score pushing towards 150, and the deficit now dipping towards double figures. There was a 50 for Keo, a single off Salter, enough to get him there off 112 balls. He retired after reaching the mark, given leave to attend an online family funeral. He'd be back if required later in the innings. Kerrigan picked up the baton from Keogh, allowing Gouldstone the opportunity to score the runs while he held up an end. And he helped shepherd his side through to T, with the score 161 for 4. They were trailing by just 86. Gouldstone moved on to 50 after the break, a first for the young man on just his second taste of first-class cricket. He and Kerrigan had amassed a 50 partnership, and then took the total past 200 runs, although at this stage it was largely irrelevant, the match was petering out into a draw. Kerrigan wouldn't see it to the end, caught behind off Cook for 36. He'd kept Keogh's place warm well, the number four back out there after his earlier retirement. The Northamptonshire pair strolled their way through the remainder of the innings, the sting taken out of the game. The handshakes came with little more than three overs left, the sixth wicket partners going nowhere, and the match drawn. It was an important match, for Goldstone with his maiden 50, and for the perspective it provided, with personal tragedy making its mark on proceedings too. The draw means very little in the grand scheme of things. Both sides will play in Division 2 when the next stage of the competition gets underway at the end of August, joined by Surrey, Durham, Essex and Gloucestershire.